biology tricks hello everyone welcome back to another lecture video from smart biology tricks so in this video we are going to uh, learn about a new topic called uh, genetic engineering so genetic engineering means it is a study of genes and also it is a, uh, it is also called as alteration of genes we can edit the genes with some technology so all these technology are all together called as genetic engineering so let us discuss about the fundamental topics in genetic engineering so genetic engineering that is defined as a new branch of biology which deals with the editing of the genomes the aim of the genetic engineering methods are to create recombinant organisms so what is mean by recombinant organisms so recombinant organisms are also a, a organism it may be a prokaryotic or, or eukaryotic the organism genome has been edited with some technology so that organism is called as recombinant organism organisms so different organisms genomes are combined together to create a new organism so that organism is called as recombinant organism so aim of genetic engineering is to create recombinant organisms and to treat the genetic disorder so genetic disorder there are many diseases are characterized as genetic disorder, disorder. Uh, for example even uh, diabetes mellitus mellitus is also considered as a genetic disorder as this disease is carried out from Uh, our parent to a new generation so it, the, such diseases are called as genetic disorder to treat this disease the some of the techniques are used and also to find out the solutions for various problems which is found in our society so there are various problems are found in our society for example uh, environment pollution so due to the human man made activities our put uh, environment has highly polluted for example uh, if you see the natural resources like uh, land resources or it may be a water resources it is everything is highly polluted due to the uh, our human activities so to find out the solution for clearing the environmental pollution we are depends on our genetic engineering technology for example the super bug it is an organism which is a alteration of the pseudomonas organism which is created by a person scientist called uh, anand chakravarti he created that a, a organism for removing the oil spills spilled over in the marine environment so that is a best example for genetic engineering so let us discuss about some fundamental topics which are all covered in genetic engineering as discussed in our overview slide genetic engineering means it is an editing of an organism so we can edit our organism so whatever the genetic makeup you want to have in your organisms that can be manually edited and then such organisms are called as genetically modified organisms so as a result of this genetically genetical genetic engineering the organism is created that is popularly called as GMOs genetically modified organisms let us discuss some fundamental topics of genetic engineering so here we have tools of genetic engineering so tools of genetic engineering means uh, as as we discussed in our overview slide it is an editing of genome right consider it is a dna right so it is a genome of organism a and it is a genome of organism b right so with the with the advanced technology in in genetic engineering we can create a new organism which contains the genome makeup of both the organisms right so in such a way we can create a new organisms which contains the genetic makeup of both organism a and organism b so this is what we have explained in the uh, our introduction slide uh, so genetic engineering means it is a construction of an organisms which contains different genetic makeup so not only the two organisms we can create more than uh, three different organisms genome or uh, in a single organisms so it is possible both in prokaryotic and also in eukaryotic so even we can create a human which which is a 
and the result of a genetically modified organisms as ethical committee is not allowing to do a genetic engineering research on humans so that only that topic was not at all touched so most of the prokaryotic organisms are used for doing research on gmos okay let us discuss about the uh, some of the importance of tools of genetic engineering okay so let us discuss the tools of genetic engineering so in genetic engineering the two things are called as tools of genetic engineering they are restriction enzymes and dna ligase so these two things are called as tools of genetic engineering as this enzymes are used for cutting the dna at specific site and sealing the dna at uh, at specific site so restriction enzymes are also popularly called as molecular scissors the restriction enzymes are popularly known as molecular scissors because these enzymes are used to cut the dna at specific site so if the dna is like this means imagine this is our dna so if you want to cut the dna at this site means with the help of restriction enzymes you can cut your dna at a specified site so for that only the restriction enzymes are popularly known as molecular scissors and after cutting the two different uh, dna sequences if you want to if you want to connect the two different sequences means you need a paste or a paste to seal the two different dna sequences so the dna ligase act as a glue it act as a glue to seal to seal the two different dna sequences so the as the two different sequences are originated from different organisms so now the 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 product of these technology is known as recombinant so uh, in tools of genetic engineering the two two things are more popular the one is restriction enzyme and the second one is dna ligase so the restriction enzymes are used to cut the dna at specific site and dna ligase are used to seal the dna of two different organisms other than these uh, two there are some uh, plasmid vectors so plasmid vectors are carrier vehicle so these are known as carrier vehicle used for transferring your gene of interest into the host organisms so all these things are all comes under tools of genetic engineering so all these things are very essential for conducting a genetic engineering experiment right so uh, let us discuss about some of the examples for uh, these things for restriction enzyme the best example is eco r1 and hind3 bam h1 so these are the examples for restriction enzymes so these enzymes are isolated from the uh, prokaryotic organisms especially bacteria which is used for cutting the dna sequence of both prokaryotic and eukaryotic in case of in case of example for plasmid vector it is for a plasmid vector it is puc it is also popularly called as puc so it puc means it is a vector isolated from are discovered from university of california p stands for plasmid u stands for university and c stands for california the vector the name of the vector is puc uh, this vector is uh, discovered from the scientist of university of california so it is popularly known as 
PUC vector. And also another vector is available PBR322. So the name of the vector should be written as a small p, the p should be in the subtract and br should be bold and should be written. So p means plasmid, b means bolivar, r means rod ridge. So the scientist, name of the scientist is Bolivar and Rodrich who discovered the plasmid vector. So this vector is called as PBR and in addition to PBR, the vector 322 has been given in the name of the vector. So PBR 322 is an example for the carrier vehicle. So carrier vehicle means it is nothing, it is a plasmid vector. So PBR means P means plasmid, P stands for plasmid, B stands for Bolivar and R stands for Rodrich. So Bolivar and Roy, Rodrich are the scientists who discovered the vector. So the, to honor the, their discovery, the name, their name was given to the vector. So in our next class, we will see some of the experiments carried out in genetic engineering. Some fundamental experiments are carried out in genetic engineering that we will discuss in our Smart Biology Tricks.